The objective of open daylight clustering is to have a set of nodes providing a fault-tolerant, decentralized peer-to-peer -peer membership with no single point of failure. From a networking perspective, clustering is when you have a group of computer nodes working together to achieve a common function or objective. For example, when you go to google.com and search for something, it may seem like your search request is processed by only one web server. In reality, your search request is processed by thousands of web servers connected in a cluster. Similarly, you can have multiple instances of the Open Daylight Controller working together as one entity. We achieve three things from clustering. The first is fault tolerance. This means that a network would be able to easily recover from failure because the cluster of nodes would quickly interact with one another to recover from any failures. The second is elasticity. This means that you could simply add new nodes or remove all nodes from the cluster system. The third is decentralization. This means that many nodes will interact with one another to achieve a common function or objective. Clustering provides the system with no single point of failure. This means that there are always functioning nodes that are ready to replace ones that are down. There is also no single point of bottleneck. This means that the system will not rely on only one node to complete the functions of the network. Open Daylight Clustering heavily relies on ACA technology to provide the building blocks for the clustering components, especially for operations on remote shards. The main reason for using ACA is because it suits the existing design of MDSAL, as it is already based on the actor model. MDSAL is a set of infrastructure services, including the data store component of the Open Daylight Controller, aimed at providing common and generic support to application and plugin developers. Open Daylight Clustering components include Clustering Configuration. The clustering configuration represents information about the cluster such as the members nodes, of the cluster and what data lives in each node. Clustering Service. The clustering service is responsible for reading the cluster configuration, resolve the known name to the actual host name IP, and maintain a registration of the components that are interested in being notified of member status changes. Distributed Data Store The Distributed Data Store is responsible for the implementation of the DOM Store which replaces the in-memory data store with the Distributed Data Store. Create the local shard actors in accordance with the cluster configuration and create the listener wrapper actors when a consumer registers a listener. Shard Shard is a processor which contains some of the data in the system. Shard being an actor, communication with it would be by means of messages. The messages passed to a shard would be very similar to the operations on the DOM store interface. Since the shard is a processor, it works as a special actor that when passed a persistent message, will log it to a journal. This journal along with snapshots would be used as a method to recover the state of the data store. The state of the shard would be maintained in an in-memory data store object. The MDSAL data store supports a three-phase commit. The shard, therefore, also provides the functions of the three-phase commit cohort. Open daylight clustering could be implemented and customized based on your network topology and usage. In the following diagram, we are testing OpenFlow-based clustering using three Open Daylight nodes. To deploy a three-node cluster, a minimum of four VMs are required. Three VMs are Linux-based operation systems, such as Ubuntu, so that they can be used to deploy the controllers and be deployed using OVA, OVF, ESO images, depending on your environment. Also, one Mininet VM for OpenFlow to test the OpenFlow-based clustering. Node is a logical member of a cluster such as controller 1, controller 2, etc. Cluster is a set of member nodes joined together through a service. Leader is a single node in the cluster that acts as a master. When a node is the leader, it has full access to the switch, where it manages cluster convergence, partitions, failover, load balancing, and others. Shard Shard is a process that contains some of the data in a system and communicates the data through means of messages. Seed nodes act as a connection for the new nodes joining the cluster. In the previous diagram, we have three open daylight controllers managing the network traffic flows for a small network based on an open flow switch OVSDB. Each controller is represented as a node in the cluster system. Controller 1 works as a leader to manage the cluster service convergence balance and other clustering mandatory functions. 
controller 1 and 2 work as a C node to give the cluster system the flexibility to add more cluster nodes. The cluster nodes communicate between each other through the shard process. The shard process uses remote RPC procedure calls to manage the communications between the cluster nodes. When one member, a node, of the cluster is asked to execute an RPC call on a device which is controlled by another cluster node, the remote RPC broker would route such request to another member, which controls the device. In general, any RPC request for which a provider is not found locally is routed to another member in the cluster who has a provider for it. Open daylight clustering is something good to know. Why? Because of the multiple uses, such as Scaling. If you have multiple controllers running, you can potentially do more work with or store more data on those controllers if they are clustered. You can also break up your data into smaller chunks and either distribute the data across the cluster or perform certain operations on certain members of the cluster. High availability. If you have multiple controllers running and one of them crashes, you would still have the other instances working and available. Thus, the service would be maintained. Data persistence. You will not lose any data gathered by your controller after a manual restart or a crash. The whole operational data store is cached as an XML file. The config store goes away. This can be configured as desired. For more on open daylight, visit us at www.nsi.com.